what's going on guys my name is Trifium and welcome to a new video in today's video I'm going to be talking with you about how to record your in-game audio only when recording with OBS or streaming with OBS what that means is if you're like me and you're listening to background music or you're watching a twitch stream in the background or you're on discord with your buddies and you're recording an issue that I was having was that I'd come out and I'd go review all of my recorded footage and I'd have all these disrupting noises in the background, whether it's music or Twitch or Discord. And I thought to myself, there's got to be a way to be able to listen to all of those things going on and still be able to record the game with just the game sound. So I looked up a bunch of videos on how to do this and a ton of videos were there, but they were all asking me to download third party software. And I said, no, 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 no. There's got to be another way. So here we are. I'm going to show you guys how I've done it. and. Let me know in the comments below if you have an even better way without using third-party software. But all you need to do this is you need to be running Windows 10 and you need to be running OBS. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to drop back to my desktop. We're going to come down to the bottom right-hand corner where your speakers icon is on your taskbar. Again, you need to be running Windows 10 and you guys should be able to follow along just fine with me. We're going to go to sound. In sounds, you have a few different tabs, but we're going to go with playback. So if you're like me, I use my headset to listen to everything. Music, gaming, Discord, everything goes through my headset. Just like how I use my microphone head, uh, my headset microphone to record all of my audio, which is what I'm using right now as I make this video. So I make sure that those two things are set up as default. This isn't really an essential step, but it's, you know, it makes things easy if you're all set up ready to go for your audio. Next thing you want to do is you're going to come back into Discord and you're going to go to your Discord settings. You're going to go down to the audio tab and you're going to be working with devices. And the main three are going to be desktop audio, desktop audio 2, mic auxiliary audio. For desktop audio, if your computers are like mine, you always have this static speakers high definition audio device. This is what I want to be sending my games to. The reason I want to be sending my games to this is because I want all the sound to be picked up through my headset, but I only want to record this track as a solo. So what that means is my World of Warcraft is going to be going to the speakers for my high definition audio device, and I'm not going to be able to hear it until I fix another setting later on. But later on, I'm going to be able to listen to that sound through my Logitech headset while being able to listen to all my other stuff, Discord, Twitch, music, things like that, except only the World of Warcraft game is going to get recorded in OBS. So here we go. We're going to select speakers. Desktop audio 2 is going to be what you actually want to hear out of, which is going to be your headset. Or In my case, it's my headset, but for you, it may be different. Your mic is going to be your mic. For me, it's my headset, so we're going to go with that. Then we're going to hit OK. Now we're back in Discord here, and in the audio mixer, I have three tracks. I have desktop audio, desktop audio 2, and I have my mic. Now I'm going to jump back over to World of Warcraft real quick. And we're going to go to the system, sound. Obviously, sound is enabled. Now, you have different options here. You have system default, you have the headset, or you have the speakers. Now, remember I set the default audio on OBS to the speakers. So I'm going to make sure I keep that selected in a while. I'm going to come back to OBS, and I'm going to switch back to OBS. And now I'm going to unmute the desktop audio. Now you can hear my World of Warcraft sound. I'm going to mute it again just for a moment. Now, the reason I have Desktop Audio 2 muted is because this is the track where all the audio is going to come from. So if I do want to record my game volume, plus my Twitch, plus my Discord, plus my Spotify, or whatever it is you may be streaming in the background, you know, transmitting sound, that's when you're going to unmute this. Now... This, you can't hear the game volume right now because it's not going, but as soon as I open up the World of Warcraft game volume, you're going to hear both through this track. So as you can see, they're both going right there. It's not really necessary, but you do need to have both open in order to hear it through the second track. I mute it, and then it goes away once again. Now, another thing you can do here if that doesn't work for you, if you're using a different game, I'm going to show you a really, really neat trick that not a lot of people know about right now because I do believe it is a new feature with Windows 10. Now, something that I'm sure a lot of people wish they can do in the streaming world and in the recording world is select the output for the audio for each application. 
and you can do just that with Windows 10. So I'm going to come down here to open sound settings. And this is a familiar screen I'm sure a lot of you have seen, but a lot of things that we over a lot of us overlook this option down here. You have advanced sound options, app volume and device preferences. So you can see here I have all my applications open. I have Discord, I have WoW, I have Twitch. And the output on all of these is default, so it goes to the speakers that I have recently selected at the beginning of this video, which is my headset. So all of these sounds are going through to the default. Now, because World of Warcraft has an in-application setting for you to change the actual output of the audio, you don't need to touch this. But for example, on F1 2019, in the game itself, there isn't an option to do that. So if instead of World of Warcraft, I had F1 2019 open right now, I would simply just change this to the speaker's high definition audio device, and then I would be able to record the F1 2019 game volume solo just as well as I can with WoW. Now, that is really the gist of it for getting your game audio set up to come through Discord. Now, how did I get the desktop audio to come through Discord on one track, and or on both tracks, I should say, and still be able to record it just the game volume? So now we're going to come into the gear cog right here for your settings for desktop audio. And we're going to come to advanced audio properties. In here, this is where the magic happens. You have your three tracks you have all these different check marks for you know splitting audio and stuff like that but we really don't need to get technical and do any of that all we need to do and i'm sure for most of you it's set to monitor off is select monitor and output and what this is going to do is it's going to monitor the audio that's supposed to be coming through the speakers and it's going to output it through another source and that source is your default audio uh, speaker setup so for me it's my headset with that being done, once I unmute this track, it's recording the audio through OBS and it's transmitting it through my headset, but there's really no audio going to the speakers. And it's a really great way to kind of cheat the system and get your game volume only in recording. So try it out. Let me know what you think. If this video has helped you in recording game volume only with still being able to use your other applications, please toss this video a like and subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks for watching. This has been Strifium, and see you next time.